sometimes I'm uh, reminded of this old Monty Python sketch and now to some completely different. So I'm, I'm going to talk about something completely different. Uh, a couple of years back, I was part of this interesting project. This interesting project um, started off as how can we use this uh, uh, open innovation based on Kaggle? You know Kaggle? The Google company that do uh, machine learning uh, or uh, artificial intelligence type of competitions. And we want to leverage that to see, can we get some benefit from it? And we did some screening inside our company to see what, what kind of challenges could, could fit for this purpose. And uh, we discovered one, icebergs. Icebergs coming down along the east coast of uh, North America, uh, threatening to, to collide with installations. That is a challenge for us. We use a company called Seacore. Seacore scouts for these uh, icebergs using satellite images, SAR images, uh, as a service. So we partnered up with Seacore. Uh, we collected data and we posted this on Kaggle. Okay, so this is the data. It's um, 1,500 images of this uh, this resolution, two channels, <coughs> as a te as a, as a, uh, a training set, and uh, the challenge is. Is it an iceberg or is it a ship? Because if it's an iceberg and it migrates towards our installations, uh, we need to first, we need to send out some planes to find out the other, um, other uh, sort of uh, potential dangers here. Uh, and secondly, if there are, we need to cater tow boats or whatever to in order to ensure or, or, or even leave the site. So this is a real challenge to us. We want to have this data so to understand if we can, uh, if, there, if there are icebergs coming towards us as, uh, as, um, as early as possible. So we posted this on Kaggle. And this became a, a huge success. There were more than uh, 3,000 teams. Uh, there were uh, uh, a lot of, uh, lot of entries, seeing here, 100 of entries. Uh, this is uh, log loss scores. <coughs> this is the winners. We had some prize money. The first team is, uh, is uh, one, from, one guy from Austin and one guy from Singapore collaborating, one doing the, 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 the data engineering and the prepping of the data, the second one doing neural nets, com uh, combining up for this challenge only. Uh, the second one, Beluga, I'll come back to it because that is the one we choose to go, go uh, further with. All of these are using, uh, or the majority of these teams are using Python, uh, uh, various, various um, uh, machine learning techniques, mostly uh, CNNs, uh, and open source project of uh, uh, software in order to do this. So they use this data, they use open source project, and they create com new communities. We went on with this second entry. So, uh, so uh, Beluga entry was uh, constituted like custom CNNs, and an ensemble of hundreds, I don't remember, and, and some VGG16 CNNs combined into an assembly and averaged and boosted XQ boost. 
to coming up with this love gloss. And, and that second entry was embedded into Seacore's software uh, this spring, so that the software increased from like, and bear with me, I think it's uh, in, in a couple of percentages. And we are expecting a report on sort of the first year of operations this winter. So having a competition, doing this kind of challenge, having an, an open in, uh, innovation process and in, uh, embedded into co uh, to, to, uh, regular operating services has been a very much a success from this, uh, this, uh, this competition. We also used this, uh, this, the same same data and the uh, same uh, challenge to, uh, to at hackathons, one at the NTNU, and we uh, got to hire one of the, uh, one of the participants from, uh, from the winning team. So this is a, was a huge challenge, a huge success for us. We gained a lot of insights how to approach it. It was a success <coughs> for, uh, for Kaggle, the most uh, popular image uh, recognition, image classification uh, um, competition at the time. So yes, this was a success in every way. I'm uh, standing in for uh, uh, my colleague, uh, jan Richard Sagli, today, and this is what I was meant to talk about. But since I was uh, asked to come here, I thought I'd reflect on why was this a success, and um, we have a lot of these things going on, actually, on open innovation. So I try to try to spend the rest of my time until he clicks me down on on different projects that we do internally that has not this recognition that we are not able to operationalize as good, sometimes good, sometimes not as good in this area. So this is uh, I've done my part. I've talked about the uh, the Kaggle competition, <laughs> and now I'll do my part. Um, when we are talking about open innovation in our company, we tend to speak, uh, depending on where you are in the organization, slightly different topics. So I'll try to, try to use this as a sort of a, um, um, I'll try to address several of these, what we do. To try to reflect <coughs> on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on um, uh, how we go about it, May just present how we go about it, and if I have any reflection, I'll, I'll, I'll provide that. New partners, open source, open data, industry standards, open challenges, and new communities. But just first, keep in mind, we are not, um, we don't develop software only to, uh, to or, or have a solution only to, uh, to, uh, to, to provide it to the market. We try to improve our work processes. So everything that we do is, uh, here and our tradition is very much sort of uh, programs, very very structured, very th that is our background. So when we come to this other type of open innovation, that is a challenge for us. We don't we don't we're not necessarily as good as we wanted to be in this area. So this is the area we want to improve our 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 business, uh, but we want to utilize all of these mechanism to get, uh, to get new ideas into how we, how we should do things. And then we are not, we, don't, we recognize that it's, uh, we don't necessarily need to find sort of in <coughs> the, in the, the bull's eye on our current market. We c the, 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 the innovation, the things that happens can have benefits for us, even if it's not sort of directly in the middle of the, um, the, uh, the area that we try to improve now. It could be in new markets. Uh, we are trying to, to, to go to um, renewables. We could improve that or even uh, use our current asset in new ways. Uh, or 
we could so just improve the industry as such. That is also success. First, the first topic I'd like to address is that we try to collect, we try to pose challenge to collect ideas to how go, to go about things. That is one approach that we do, one, one tool set that we try to use. So we try to post the uh, post uh, post uh, challenge both sort of very structured one and we have uh, this um, uh, this um, agreement with a company called Nine Sigma that facilitates such things <coughs> and very structured collecting the input from various sources and uh, organizing sort of sessions and and uh, uh, let people shake hands etc. Then we have the more sort of online uh, type of uh, approach to it that we we we, we, we posting on the, on the web and you and people can sort of voluntarily just uh, uh, go into it um, more like more or less like a kaggle but on on a more uh, more specific uh, uh, oil and gas challenges for us and then we have this very internal challenge so sort of we, we try to do this internally as well so this is a way to sort of, how can we open, and, and the internal thing, even if it's internal, it's still open because we tend to work in different departments. We don't sort of share experience across. So even if it's internal, it's, it, we, we perceive it as an open uh, sort of challenge. And I'm running out of time. <coughs> Techstars is another, I won't go into details. Techstars is very much, we tend to work with uh, existing vendors and existing suppliers. Techstar is a way for us to can we tap into this startup, uh, startup uh, world. And, and it's very difficult for us to, um, to do that because we have, if we want to buy something, we tend to come with this kind of um, sort of requirement sheets. You have to comply to all of these things. So it's not easy for us to, to, to connect to this. So this is a way to sort of trying to mitigate and m make that route for the, for the, for the, um, uh, for the viewer, for the small company that has no, uh, no history in this, uh, this space at all to engage with us. Because we like their input and we like them to use. And we, we ran, ran one um, campaign uh, uh, and we are on our second generation of this campaign. And it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very uh, intriguing, even if the, if the percentage of the technology hasn't been as, um, as, uh, uh, as good as some of us would like to hope. But we are still, still trying to do this, to engage with new partners. Uh, second thing I'd like to talk about is open source. Open source, we, we have a, what, uh, what Equino people don't know is that we prefer open source software in Equino. That is the requirement. That is, the, that is how every software should uh, be acquired in the company. But we have no tradition for it. We have no culture for it. So we, we tend to, to struggle with open source as such. We have one um, project where we are sort of the, the, uh, the provider or the, 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 the main contributor, and we directly fund people that will code on it. In addition to academia, in addition to people that do voluntary work on it, we, we pay for it. And it's a huge success in terms of uh, getting both the uh, code better getting the the sort of the uh, trying out uh, different type of uh, this is an reservoir simulator trying different equations trying different visualizations so it's a, a huge success for us and not the least in this day and age when we want to do this in 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 scale doing it in, in the hundreds of, of, of time then it's open source we don't pay license per simulation we can we can scale it so so that is um, one class of open source the other class 
is, and, and that's just the majority of it, is the, is the more smaller libraries. Smaller libraries that people t use in communities. This is also an, a way to sort of get into contact with new communities. Um, and, and, and we try to post all the things that they do on GitHub. So, uh, so, the, so different projects that uh, uh, the people can, can uh, use or contribute to where, uh, where uh, we, we do post on GitHub. And open source has been limited to subsurface uh, groups and IT. Those are the two sort of communities within our organization that utilize it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna stop soon because the clock is ticking. <coughs> we really try to provide data. Also an area where we struggle because also, th this is also part to <coughs> our competency and our commitment from, from sort of on, on, on the legal, on the commercial side of things. Because it's not easy to sort of, uh, oh, we want to provide this data and then we discover, oh, this is a license that inhibits a lot of usage that we really wanted to, to, to have. But we are trying. We have uh, also Norden data. Uh, used in, in combination with the OPM, so that um, uh, so that the people that use OPM can have a data set that uh, that works and that that has worked better than Volve. Always to you. I will skip this now. I just I just take one thing. And we we try to do um, uh, a sandbox environment since we are not. Uh, it's out of time, or whatever. The screen is done. <laughs> uh, the, the data work. So, so if you have, if if we you think we have interesting data, but we are not able to provide you, can we provide you with an environment so that you can uh, install it in a uh, in a in a in a sandbox environment and run it on our data? So that uh, that uh, that is a new thing that we're trying to do. So if you're interested in doing that, please contact me or anybody else in there. And the last comment I'd like to make is that um, we tend, I, I assume now that everybody knows this, uh, this book, we tend to do it in the, the cathedral way. That doesn't mean it's not open, but it's very, um, it's, it's, it's more structured than the, the Linux way. Okay, thank you.